Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. A criminologist has exclusively revealed to the U.S. Sun that Brian Koberger would be seen as a loser by the infamous serial killer he has been linked to. Investigative criminologist and leading true crime author Christopher Barry D. has published a number of books giving insight into the minds of serial killers. He has sat face to face with the most notorious killers and has now turned his attention to the accused Idaho killer. Koberger, 28, was charged with the murders of University of Idaho students Ethan Chapin, Zana Kernadal, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gon Calvez, who were fatally stabbed in November 2022. Last month, the daughter of infamous serial killer BTK, also known as Dennis Rader, told Fox News how she believes there is a link between her father and Koberger. It's very common for people in the public or criminology students especially, to correspond with my father via letters and sometimes talk to him on the phone, Raider's daughter, Carrie Rawson, told Fox News. Other than this, the pair were also taught by and worked with the same serial killer expert. Koberger received his master's degree in criminal justice at DeSalle's University, where he was a student of forensic psychology professor Catherine Ramsland, a known expert in serial killers who has written several books. Ramsland worked with Rader on his autobiography. Since Dr. Ramsland had a long-term academic, intimate relationship with my father and a personal friendship, I wouldn't be surprised if Koberger at least tried to contact my father or had contact, Rawson said. She added, we don't have proof of it but we would need to see letters at Koberger's home or at my father's jail cell. In an interview, Rader said that he can relate to Koberger, however, he said that he never spoke with the former Ph.D. student. Barry D. called the links to Professor Catherine Ramsland as tenuous, but noted that it is not unusual for students, or even professors of criminology, to correspond with convicted serial killers. He added, I would say the same thing regarding Dennis Lynn Rader aka BTK, it is all speculative nonsense. There is absolutely nothing to suggest that Koberger wanted BTK as a role model or to copycat BTK's crimes. The criminologist suggested that it is not beyond comprehension that Koberger wanted to learn out of curiosity and student interest how BTK got away with his crimes. Barry D. concluded that had Rader been in contact with Koberger, he would believe him to be a weak-willed loser. The author said, having studied Rader's psychopathology in death, I would say that the highly ego-driven master serial killer, Rader, would look down on the weak-willed loser, Koberger, as a lightweight in the grand scheme of things, and to view him as loser because he was arrested so quickly. Rader is serving a life sentence for murdering 10 people over the course of two decades before his capture in 2005. The criminologist previously told the U.S. Sun that Koberger has a serious character flaw which could point to a potential motive. He called Koberger an extreme narcissist with an overinflated ego. Koberger's trial date is set for October, and he has denied all accusations against him. Source, the dash sun.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.